I won't tell you what I told him. I just simply said, at least you like girls. Because he was a single boy. Now listen, don't write me any letters. He was a single boy. And I said, look, it's all right to look at a beautiful girl when you're a single boy because I, I, I looked at one and married one, okay? And I went to pray for him again about this lust problem. And the Lord spoke to me. And here's what he said to me. He says, tell him he doesn't need deliverance. He needs discipline. And see, a lot of people let us cleanse ourselves from the filthiness of the flesh and spirit are going to altars over and over and over asking God for help and help and help when you get help by, if you need to, disconnecting the Internet. If you need the help, disconnect the cable. If you need help, quit buying the magazines. Oh, go ahead now. You'll see this in a minute. See, that's how you cleanse yourself. Anything that you see is attracting you to something that's bad, you have to separate from it. And you, you cleanse yourself that way. As far as, there's another temple in, in, the, in, in the Jewish belief, the home is a little synagogue. It's like a miniature temple. And sometimes what you have to do there is you have to examine your house. In fact, we did a, have a book on how about purging your house and getting things out of your house that could attract spirits. And I'm about to run out of time. And I wish I had time to tell you several stories that are in that particular book, but I don't at this point. And when it, when it comes to the church, the body of Christ, we know that when we all come together as the body, that there were times the church has to go through a cleansing. The church has to go through a purging process of its own. Now, now, what is that? What do you mean by that? I mean, there are times, and I, this is what I love about the Lord's Supper, because I have read so much about what Paul wrote, and he said, if you are going to partake of the Lord's Supper, don't do it unworthily. Examine yourself to see that you be in the faith. And a lot of times when you examine yourself, part of that examination is to see if there's anything in your life towards someone or you have said or done that you need to be cleansed of. And I think one of the reasons, I've heard doctors tell me this, they said, you know, a lot of people in hospitals that are sick, if they would get rid of the bitterness, fear, and unforgiveness, literally could get rid of it, it they'd be healed. It would be, the body would heal itself. So that's the thing that's powerful about the Lord's Supper. So you've got to... Shut off. You can, you can actually starve the enemy in your life by shutting off any form of disobedience or any form of iniquity that would be there. And by getting free through the power of the Holy Spirit, the enemy has nothing to hang on to. Jesus said, the devil's coming, but he has nothing in me. And I believe by faith you can live in victory. Got something brand new I've got to share with you from the land of Israel. This is Perry Stone. Be right back in a moment. In 1988, Jerusalem Rabbi Yehuda Getz invited Perry Stone to his office near the Western Wall, where the rabbi explained to Perry how the book of Genesis encodes the future of major world events. Now, for the first time in 33 years of ministry, Perry presents a major teaching on this DVD called Cracking the Genesis Code, which includes a teaching on the 7,000-year code. This DVD teaching includes details of the early church theory that the six days of creation are actually 6,000 years of human government and the seventh day of rest is the 1,000-year reign of Christ as recorded in Revelation chapter 20. You will see and learn just how close we are to the time of the end. Discover how God counts prophetic time and how Genesis is a reflection of future prophetic events. This DVD includes many pictures, charts, and scriptures to help illustrate this vital teaching. Cracking the Genesis Code DVD is part of package offer GC83. When you order the DVD, Perry will also include a new audio CD called Children in the Devil's Playhouse. Our children and grandchildren are under attack. Perry explains the five events that create emotional holes which open the door for spirits to attack our children. This audio CD has vital information on warfare cycles and exposes Satan's strategy against your children. This teaching is a must for every parent. This new DVD, Cracking the Genesis Code, and the audio CD, Children in the Devil's Playhouse, are now available for your gift of $30 or more. Call toll-free 1-888-21-BREAD. That's 1-888-212-7323. Or order online at perrystone.org. 
You may also write to us at Perry Stone, Post Office Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320, and enclose your gift of $30 or more. Postage is included. When writing, be sure to request gift offer GC83. Perry believes these resource materials are some of the greatest ever made available to you, the manifest viewers, and is confident you will learn something needed for your life. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Well, I'm sitting here at my set at Voice of Evangelism, and directly behind me is a, a, a carving of Mount Rushmore. We are taping some six programs on the rapture to begin next week on the Manifest program, brand new teachings. I encourage you that if you know someone who does not believe in the coming of Jesus for the church, they don't believe in the word rapture, they think it's not in the Bible, and you've got all these other uh, questions people have, we're going to answer literally scores of questions for the next five to six weeks on the program. We've already done some taping with Bill Cloud that will be aired in the end of July and August right here in the set that you're looking at. Uh, and uh, we're believing God for that prophetic alert on America to literally touch the lives of thousands and hundreds of thousands of American citizens. Now, let me share with you that this is your final opportunity to get this month's offer, which is Cracking the Genesis Code, the two-hour DVD, which was actually taught here in the office, and also the Devil in the ch uh, Children in the Devil's Playhouse. Now, next week, we're going to have, of course, a brand new offer that we're going to be making available to you. And let me just mention the offers for a moment and help you understand something, that our ministry does not send out letters asking for money. We don't say, can you send us an offer, and we don't do that. And one of the ways that we keep the manifest program on the air is when people order the, the, the resource material. Also, if you order on the Internet, you can now make an additional donation to VOE, which will help keep the program on the air. So having said that, let me remind you that in St. Louis and Louisville, Kentucky, we're going to be doing the entire book of Revelation. We've never done this before in a conference, and I'm very excited about it. I've, I've been working on the outlines for two months. I've been working on the PowerPoint pictures. We want you to be a part of that. Okay, I'm coming to Connorsville Senior High School Auditorium in Connorsville, Indiana, Friday, June 18th through Sunday night. That's Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. And we want to invite the public to attend plenty of seats. Everyone is invited. Then on Saturday morning, June the 19th, I'll be at Cornerstone for the Arts in Muncie, Indiana. Everyone is invited to attend there. Sunday morning, I'll be at Bethesda Worship Center in Richmond, Indiana. And that will be at the Bethesda Worship Center. And we're going to come to Indiana doing those five services in those three days. And I want all the folks that watch Manifest, please make an effort to join me. Then I'm coming to the Church of God camp meeting Thursday through Friday, June 24th, 25th, Georgetown, Delaware. Then we're coming to the Healing Place Church in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Baton Rouge as we call it, on Wednesday, June the 30th, World Harvest Church, 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon, July the 4th. And then I'll be with Norval Hayes Ministry at the Gladstone Lodge in Gatlinburg, uh, Tennessee on Wednesday the 7th. And finally, the Evangel World Prayer Conference Center Conference. We'll be talking about that. You'll be he hearing a lot about that. Uh, where we're going to be dealing with the book of Revelation. I want to encourage you to go to the website, look up the itinerary, because we don't have time on the Manifest program to share with you all the different places that we plan on coming to. And uh, we want to thank the Lord for your support and your prayers, especially you that are standing with us in the Omega Ranch Project, the prayer barn, and now the preparation of the pad for the uh, Omega Center International, which will be built. I need a lot of your prayer. Uh, I need you to come in an agreement with me that God is going to provide in every area to accomplish what I believe is a gathering place for sons and daughters of where the Holy Spirit can be poured out. Now, next week on Manifest, I'm going to be coming with the brand new Rapture Teaching. I want you to watch this. You're going to learn a lot of things I think you may not have known before, and we're going to have a time in the Lord. See you then.